and welcome back to Healthcare Sucks. Hey, that wasn't even deep. That wasn't even a healthcare sucks. Let's uh, try that again. And welcome back to Healthcare Sucks. There we go. Meaty. I'll take mine with steak and eggs, not some little wimpy veggie booger thing. And here we go. We're going to jump right into it. Good evening and thanks for joining us. Another plane carrying Canadians out of the heart of the new coronavirus outbreak has taken off from China. Canada's foreign affairs minister says the second chartered plane has left Wuhan. It is en route for CFB Trenton with a refueling stop in Vancouver. Passengers will join hundreds of other evacuees already under quarantine. Meanwhile, the cases keep multiplying on board the Diamond Princess cruise ship. More than 2,500 passengers remain under quarantine in the port of Yokohama, Japan. The ship's owner says 66 more people are now confirmed to have the virus, including one more Canadian. That nearly doubles the total number of cases to 136. The vast majority of the cases, though, are still in China. Officials there say there were 108 deaths in the past day. That's the highest in a single day. And it brings the overall death toll to over 1,000. Highest in a single day. Not the lowest, guys. Not this hypocrisy, WHO, BS. Not lowest. And not tamping it down. Tamping it down. The truth, right there. Highest. You just heard it. So, with that, we'll jump back in. Check out some more. That means this new coronavirus has killed more people than SARS, and the outbreak is still spreading. Chinese media is reporting there are now more than 43,000 cases worldwide, most of them in China. These pictures of mass disinfection have emerged from Hubei province. That's where the outbreak began, and it's where most illnesses and deaths are occurring. This video was... <laughs> this, this is the cannon. This is the... Super size me sprayer, not those wimpy little chick -chick -chick on the back sprayers. Which, by the way, yeah, that's doing a little something. It is a little something. Even the cannon, the cannon, that's like nuts, guys. Even that, I mean, to honestly to make any good. It's like you got to think about the city like New York and Chicago and the big, big cities and San Diego and L.A. and stuff. There's so many rats and other things running around and stuff that probably are starting to get this. I, they're not talking about these things, by the way. But anyway, and there's so many crevices and cracks and whatever for this stuff to run. And people living, as we know, homeless, under the ground. In, in and out of places, all over the places, that bottom line, this stuff is not going to reach. Even if you aerosoled this with plane farts, and you guys know what I mean, plane farts, a.k.a. plane fart spraying, which we haven't seen yet, which I am actually surprised they're not plane fart spraying. Because when you go to this, the next step is plane fart spraying. Released by state media, it's not clear what is being sprayed or what impact it might have. Crews are reportedly targeting cities across Hubei province. <laughs> you heard it firsthand. We don't know what the hell is being sprayed. They're not admitting what's being sprayed. Isn't that reassuring? Just like plane farts, remember? Oh, it's all okay. No, no, no. First, there was never a plane fart. Planes don't fart, by the way. Never. They just don't fart. But now we know plane farts, and it came out, and plane farts are like this thing. And because some of those boozo, boozo, bozos from some college decided to come out uh, and let us know. I love it when they, they hide it, hide it, hide it. And then they come out and let us know. Just like this. They don't even admit. I mean, how do you report something? I mean, if I myself am not over there, I will look into it and see if I can find what they're spraying, though. You know, we could all guess. But guess doesn't even come close to what's coming out of those trucks, maybe. And we'll spray disinfectant twice a day. We'll have more on the efforts to contain the outbreak in China in just a moment. But first... 
to the latest on those Canadians stranded on cruise ships. Mike Latour has tonight's top story. An eighth Canadian who was on this cruise ship has contracted the new coronavirus. Global Affairs Canada says the person is now in a Yokohama hospital, while 254 other Canadians on board that boat remain in quarantine. Well, um, I'm a little frustrated. Including Greg Garrix, who says he's lucky to have this balcony view, even though it's of the port. And he's just happy to ride out the quarantine on the ship. Canadian government going to send a plane and take us all home and still go through this in Trenton? Well, we'd be on Canadian soil. That'd be nice, but I bet they don't feed us as well. And passengers would miss displays like this. A group of people on jet skis put on a water show to break up the day. A welcome distraction with life on board. China now stands at a... And... Yeah, the entertainment and all that stuff. What about the people trapped in the middle of those things? Can you imagine? Okay, um, disclaimer. I was wrongfully accused of something, and I won, and I sued the hell out of the government and all entities involved. But I, I unlawfully spent eight days in jail. Not prison, just jail. And... Most jails now are enclosed where all the farts, stinky air, pollution, garbage, tweakers, all the sweat, scummy, cur oh, nasty, nasty things going on. And uh, that's what I'm getting to. You're in the middle of this. And also, whether you missed it or not, these, these, I would never go on a cruise. I always thought it was a paradise and a really nice thing to go do. But now the truth has come out that these are like incubator incubators for diseases. In other words, the perfect, you know, locked in, circulating air. Yeah, I don't think so. At least our military guys that are on big ships, I trust that their air flows and things are done purified and done right. And I ain't trusting nothing off these cruise liners that are trying to make a buck. Over 1,000 for the first time since China's health commission began releasing its reported number of deaths. The country saw over 100 deaths in a single 24-hour period on Monday. At 108, the number of infected patients also surpassed 42,000, with some 2,000 cases added in Hubei province alone. Meanwhile, Chinese President Xi Jinping made his first public appearance since the start of the outbreak on Monday, and this is what I'm talking about when I say that they already have an antiviral and that they're already protected, that when they monkeyed with it and changed it around and it got loose or they did it intentionally, whatever happened, okay, we don't know yet, that the him, him, and these guys, and their military, I haven't seen one picture of a sick, I haven't seen one picture of military in the last almost 30 days. And they were all proud and doing things. And I was seeing military stuff once or twice a week. I ain't seen nothing. And I haven't heard them admit that any military personnel, again, is sick. There's something funky going on there. And you know, with this coming around, I'm going to throw it out there at you guys. And you hit me back and let me know. I'm working on... A little piece of fiction we're gonna call it but right now I'm gonna throw a piece of it at you a bone let's just say that this was intentional and they released this and they released it at the right time they released it during this holiday to spread they released it through the Super Bowl like I've been saying they were uh, this was intentional to get it out there in the weekend once it hits and it gets if it goes as crazy like it could and people start getting sick or countries, many, many people get down and get ill. That's when people strike. That's right. Planned strike. And this is a work of fiction I'm throwing at you. Because obviously this could never happen. Not in this day and age, right, guys? Just the food for thought. And we're not talking about the nice kids on the block. These are not our friends over there. The people are people, man. And no matter what country, there's good people just like us. But I'm talking about the government. 
and they are evil, vindictive, torturing their people. There, you got to remember, just like North Korea, there's penitent, there's camps, and then they're showing people getting drug out of their house. Think about that for a minute. How do we know those people are even sick that are getting drug out of the house? There is, and they're not even showing their faces. It could be that one reporter guy. Or the uh, the other guy that was a lawyer that was reporting and we were getting some of his stuff. Yeah. Think about it like that. And they're not hauling him there. And then there's stories about some really bad places they're putting some of these people. Because the bottom line here, unless you're an emperor or one of the top people over there, or even a military, active military, uh, you're... you're garbage is the way they treat you so food for thought you guys let me know what you think wearing a protective face mask as you can see the chinese leader toward yeah right to center in beijing to inspect efforts to contain the virus was closed temporarily today after a member of staff tested positive for coronavirus Four new cases of the illness in the UK were confirmed this morning, bringing the total to eight. The government has moved to ensure that anyone in England who's in quarantine for the virus can't just leave by declaring it a serious and imminent threat to public health. This is a good one, guys. It's already hitting. This is the one where some of you have sent me stuff about martial law and the worries. We all worry about those kind of things. This is wonderful Canada where... It was let out of the box in their class four lab where it was stolen from them. Yeah, you're going to hear people say, you're going to read stories and say, it's not true, it's fear porn, that stuff never happened. It did happen. And now they're trying to throw out this cover story like it's all BS. It's not. We pretty much so know where it came from, where it went, what they did to it, and they tweaked and torqued it. And then the monkey got out of the box. The 12 monkey syndrome. But listen to this. This is getting nuts. Get the medical correspondent, Fergus Walsh. This is not Wuhan, but Brighton, where an entire medical center and pharmacy are being deep cleaned after two local GPs tested positive for the new coronavirus, along with two other people in Brighton. It seems they were all infected in a ski chalet in France by a British businessman who'd himself got infected in Singapore. Without realizing he was contagious, he passed on the virus to around a dozen Britons, all without going anywhere near China. The detection of this small number of cases could be the spark that becomes a bigger fire. But for now, it's only a spark. Our objective remains containment. The longer this outbreak goes on, the more scientists are learning about the new coronavirus. Latest estimates suggest it kills around one in a hundred people who are infected. That compares with one in 10 people who died from SARS in 2003. Yet even though the new coronavirus is much less deadly, the death toll has already exceeded that of SARS. Now, more than 900 compared to 770. And so when you reverse mathematic that, it's equally as bad, if not worse, and getting worse all the time, guys. And uh, again, this is not fair porn channel. This is, I back up things. I show you stuff. I give you some opinions so you guys can go out and run with it, see what you can put together. I'm always willing to hear anything, guys, whether it's you love it, criticism, you think I'm a nut, uh, whatever have you. The reason I do this, again, is because I love you guys, man. I want you to have a chance. And, you know, even if this isn't the one, the S-H-I-T hits the fan one, there's another one around the corner or there's another scenario. This has been for so long that us people that are awoken and that are wise and that are got our eyes wide open and we're not the sheeples that it's like spinning a roulette or this way whichever way and eventually it's going to come up earthquake 
plague, meteor, you know, there's war, there's dozens of scenarios. This just happens to be the one that hit kind of first. It's not the last. And like I've told you in one of my other videos, there's a lot going on, guys. A lot going on out there besides politics. Politics, I think, guys, think about this for a minute, is a distraction that they use now for everybody. It just distracts and gets so many people caught up, then they have no time or energy or will to go and learn the truth about what's